ever pondered the intricacies of the stock market? Have you ever wondered how the quarterly results of a company can impact its future? Today, we are unraveling these mysteries by delving into the Q2 results of Patel Integrated Logistics Limited, a prominent player in the Indian logistics and supply chain industry. Patel Integrated Logistics Limited, listed on the BSE and NSE, disclosed its Q2 results for the fiscal year 2024 on November 13, 2023. A net profit of Rs 1.04 crore was reported, marking a decrease of 6.96% from the same quarter of the previous year, which saw a net profit of Rs 1.11 crore. The company's revenue also experienced a dip, falling by 14.7% to Rs 61.42 crore, compared to the Rs 72 crore in Q2 2023. The earnings per share, EPS, were recorded at Rs 0.45, a drop from the previous year's Q2 EPS of Rs 0.51. A closer look at these figures reveals a challenging quarter for Patel Integrated Logistics Limited. They attributed their underperformance to the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. This wave brought about a decrease in demand and caused operational disruptions in the logistics and supply chain sectors. Rising fuel and freight costs also took a toll on the company's profitability and margins. Consequently, no dividends were declared for the quarter. The market reacted to this news with a slump in the company's stock price, which fell by 6.73% over the last three months and by 6.23% in the last five days. The company's market capitalization stands at Rs 39.8 crore with a price to earnings ratio PE of 45.74. This PE ratio is significantly higher than the industry average of 25.6. The company's financial position also appears shaky with a debt to equity ratio of 1.63 and a current ratio of 0.62. The future outlook for Patel Integrated Logistics Limited remains hazy, contingent upon the recovery of the logistics and supply chain sectors post-pandemic and the demand for its services in areas like warehousing, road transport, air cargo and e-commerce. The company also grapples with fierce competition, regulatory challenges and the need to improve operational efficiency, manage costs and enhance customer satisfaction and retention. To summarize, Patel Integrated Logistics Limited faced a challenging Q2, marked by a decrease in net profit and revenue and an adverse market reaction. The company's future hinges on multiple factors, including sector recovery, demand, competition, and internal improvements. Now it's your turn to weigh in. What's your take on Patel Integrated Logistics Limited? Is it a stock to buy, to sell, or to hold? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned to Fund Code for more insights into the stock market. Until next time.